Hey guys, Steve here. Today we got to look at the Gorky for you. Probably one of the hardest ships in the game, in my opinion. Tier 5 Russian cruiser. We got Kuznetsov, we got Yamamoto. Probably going to redo the commander builds once we get the full line upgraded, and then we'll kind of recreate the builds there. You can see we weren't fully upgraded yet in this game. Uh, why is this ship so hard? Well, we got 13 millimeter plating on the front, and check out the Citadel. Okay, very flat in the front, and it sticks out. So the problem with this is is anything with 203 millimeter caliber guns, i.e., I don't know, a third to half of the, cr the cruisers that the tiers are going to be playing in, they can overpen the nose and they can access that citadel. So I've been blown up a few times in this thing. I think it's very hard to play. Battleships look at you funny, you die. Trident, capture the base mode game here. We're going to be in the hunt for a Kraken. Going to come down to the wire in this one. This is going to be my highest damage game thus far in this. Uh, the Gorky... Uh, no stranger to dealing damage. That's not the problem. Of course, keeping itself safe is the key. And what the third mod is, if you notice, we didn't have the ship fully upgraded yet. I need to play one more game. It's going to add about 8%, 7 or 8% to the AP damage of the ship. So that'll up the damage output even more. I think the Gorky's definitely like a glass cannon. You know, if you leave it alone and it's actually able to shoot a lot of shots, then it's going to pump out the damage. But if you get a battleship shot on it, it just dies automatically. So here we're getting spotted. Hoping this mayhem that spots over here does a good job spotting for us. Trying to utilize this island. Trying to stay safe. Uh, you really got to be focusing on using the islands in these Russian cruisers. Especially the Gorky here. Uh, due to the aforementioned survivability problems. But because we got really like fast flying shells. High trajectory, low flying shells. Uh, you kind of have to figure out where you can shoot over on these islands. So... This island here, going from right to left, you can see it starts off very low on the beach, then it goes up a step, then up, up a step, up a step, then it kind of peaks, right? So the step we're aiming at right now, the third step, we couldn't really shoot over that most likely. Uh, Mayhan <laughs> shoots his guns after he launches the torps and then hits the beach. Not the strongest opening move, not really sure what's going on there. Uh, but we're looking for shots in this Pensacola, trying to keep him alive. Uh, you can see that white triangle in the middle of the screen there. Now it disappears. That's telling us from the perspective of the center of our ship, will the shots be able to fire over the island or not? Okay, so even if that white triangle's on the screen, sometimes some of your guns can shoot over that. you got to keep that in mind. Pensacola, uh, this is why we're trying to put or Dimitri Dewey on here. In, or makes it harder for these ships to angle. They have to be at a steeper angle to get these ricochets. Uh, so even though he's at a nice 45 plus degree angle on that screen there, uh, we're going to be able to access big juicy shots when we hit him there. So I think Dimitri Dewey, I got him almost maxed, I believe, and I think he's... People are starting to come around to him. I hear more and more of you guys talking about uh, using him, but the community in the whole probably still undervalues him. I You could theoretically put him on every cruiser and battleship if you wanted to. Uh, this... Congo thing just rams me out in the open, which is not the coolest, especially if this Tennessee, Tennessee shoots at him or me, then I die automatically, so I don't really appreciate that. The map is huge. I don't know why you have to ram me there, but nonetheless, there's no uh, damage taken there. You can see we're getting spotted. Looking on the map, there's nothing in the white ring except for, of course, the destroyer that pops up here. The destroyer is surrounded by the Mayhan and a Sub, and... Are they going to shoot at him? No, they're not going to shoot at him. You guys know the answer to these questions already. You've played the game. You've seen enough footage. You know what they're going to do. They're going to shoot at the battleships. So, that Minikaze is actually going to be alive for a lot longer. The game is designed if you're surrounded as a destroyer like that. Look at his position on the map. He's got two destroyers within a square of him. And uh, the game is designed for that to be nearly automatic death. But the catch is that your team actually has to shoot at them. But no, we're shooting at the Tennessee's angled front, you can see there. So we're chiming in with the AP, and you can see we're getting some pretty decent shots here. Again, he's 45 degree angle. Again, we got Dimitri Dewey kind of mitigating a little bit of that. We could make a case for switching to HE. A lot of times if you're shooting a battleship like this and both AP and HE are gonna be effective, it's good to set a fire Either cycle his damage con, force him to use it, or if he lets the fire burn, now we got passive income generating in the background, and we can start whacking him with the AP. Luckily, we are able to back up there and survive that shot. Um, Minikaze is on the beach, and he's down about half health, so they do uh, finally decide to start shooting him. 
adding to the difficulty for the Gorky huge turn circle. I believe it's 860, and that's kind of the theme for most Russian cruisers, very ponderous turn circles, but in a ship like this where we cannot really afford to take any shots whatsoever, uh, that adds to the difficulty. So keep that in mind here uh, when you're playing the Gorky. Uh, we are taking some shots in the back there, not exactly sure where they are. You can see uh, there's a there's a kind of a hidden mechanic in this game. We call it a black hole, but it's not officially named. But there's hidden gravitational objects that you can't really see on the game screen, but you can infer their presence by looking on the map. You can see all the red ships congregating in one little spot over there on the right-hand side of the map, all of our ships congregating over here. So those are the hidden black holes that are basically pulling the ships in. And uh, once again, you want to do your best to try and stay away from those whenever possible. They can actually suck you in and then you can't get out because uh, you're going to get surrounded by the enemy team. So, Sub uh, is still shooting at the battleship, it looks like. Uh, Minikaze not really sustaining much damage. You guys can definitely criticize my shot selection here and say, well, why aren't you shooting that? You do have the nice flat uh, trajectory on your guns, good accuracy at range. And I would, uh, you know, have a hard time countering that uh, point that you're trying to make there. All I can say is we've been having access to broadside pentacles, broadside Tennessees, which are much more dangerous to us than Mayhans at uh, 12 to 15 kilometers. And I'm really trying to focus on my own preservation in this ship uh, rather than, you know, what might be going on around us. But, you know, we probably should have been shooting the destroyer. So I will concede that point there. We could have very easily died. Luckily, we backed up and those shells landed through the nose going downward. If they would have hit in the middle of the ship, we probably would be not viewing this footage. And I'd probably... <laughs> find the Gorky even more difficult than I currently do. Uh, get a passing shot on the Tennessee as we're able to disengage. We desperately need to go right to left, get behind this island. Queen Elizabeth cannot shoot us uh, once again. He does fire there, though, so we slam on the brakes, turn in, and these shells are going to basically <laughs> hit us dead center. It's always a little frustrating when you think you're slamming on the brakes and dodging, and then the shells, you know, if you would have continued to go full speed, they would have just landed behind you, so... Nothing you can do about that. Of course, you're still going to want to try and dodge the shots, but it does happen quite a bit. Tennessee, we need to get the shot off there as quick as possible. We don't want him to be able to return fire because, of course, we are broadside to him. Luckily, his guns were looking at the guys behind us. Our red, you can see their destroyer and their cruiser are in hot pursuit of our carrier. That's fine. I, it's tough for me to judge their available plays uh, from our position over here. Usually, rushing the carrier is not nearly as val valuable as of a play as a lot of players think you know it damage per minute from carriers is very low because it take you know they have to send the planes across the map and depending on their position that can take one two three minutes and even though they're able to deal some damage once they get into position uh, they're not going to be as impactful on the game generally as the surface ships are a very very good carrier player will have a high impact but it's going to do a lot more with spotting in addition to uh, dealing damage. Queen Elizabeth getting low here. We do have him broadside on the map. And we're going to want to once again utilize this island cover here. Fire do get spotted over here by the New York. You can see just at the edge of the ring here. I'm hoping he continues to uh, pull forward away from us. Queen Elizabeth once again uh, desperately trying to quill kill us here. Uh, gets one more shot off. This time the dodge actually works. He does shoot where we would have been had we continued going forward. And now we've gone back to the AP. You can see he's very low here. I'm once again, trying to back up. We need to get the middle of our ship behind the taller parts of this island. That's where our ship is spotted from, the middle of the ship. Once we do that, you can see we drop spot. Now we're safe. Uh, Minikaze, we're going to ping, ping, ping. Annoy the piss out of your teammates. Please do it. Uh, if they're not shooting the destroyer, they're not playing the game correctly. So annoy them until they figure it out. That's my advice to you. Some people don't like the pinging. I don't like not shooting destroyers. We break even on that one. Queen Elizabeth, one more salvo there. Plane does spot us, uh, but uh, the shots are already away, and he discharged his load previously, and down he goes. So we've picked up our second kill. We're at, you know, three quarters of 100k damage. Not too bad. Basically almost tripled our ship's HP and damage. So pretty decent Gorky game. I don't think I've ever lived this long in this ship besides this one. Uh, not very often, at least. Uh, we have provided, they did kill the uh, Minikaze finally, which is glorious. All right, it was actually the Tennessee. Now they have an unfettered, they have unfettered access to their base. We're going to hope that the team just gets on that cap. We're going to move forward here. We want to support, make sure 
that they're not causing any shenanigans on our uh, side of the base here. So first up, Trento, he's low, he's a one-shot, he's broadside to us, and he's the only ship in our range, so it's an easy uh, target selection choice there. And Byron does finish him off, though, with his guns, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to continue to move into position. Order of importance here, New York we're going to try and kill first because he's low once again. As a general rule, almost always universally applicable, you do want to be removing ships whenever possible. Uh, that just removes the team damage per minute uh, that you're going to be facing. But the destroyer, he is kind of the last remaining hope of this team. Theoretically, he could kill the guys on the cap and then hit on the cap and uh, the carrier could reset the red cap uh, until we win. So we do need to deal with both these ships here. I'm going to tell the Byron to get back just because he's really low health. Not really a huge problem if we lose him here, I understand that. But it never hurts to be you know, safe rather than sorry. We're trying to pull forward here, get a shot of the New York. We see that the white triangles uh, no longer on the screen. Aim just a bit forward and fire the shot in race with the Bayern to get those shots there. Uh, but our shots do hit first and we take him down. So we are getting spotted here. We can't tell at this point if it's the carrier who previously was the closest ship to us a couple minutes ago. Uh, it's a very good chance he's actually the one spotting us or it could be the destroyer. Of course, we got this uh, cloud sitting here, but now that the blue ring is contracted, we, we're reasonably certain that the uh, Mayhem's either in the cloud or behind it. Now we're spotted. Uh, we can see where the twist and track suggesting. So I'm going to just kind of change course a little bit here. Now the Mayhem short range torps, uh, kind of pre dodging like this, not necessarily uh, that necessary because he's got a. He's got to be pretty close to us to torp us, but we are moving into him, and that's when the American lower tier destroyers can still torp you. So we'll change direction a few times here. Uh, luckily for us, he makes it really easy with these juicy widespreads. Uh, we could actually fit fully broadside in there twice over and uh, let these go comfortably by us. So once again, another good example of why we would never ever recommend using widespread on anything but the British and the British widespread is basically uh, just the normal spread uh, called widespread due to the fact that the other option is single fire and there you can see we've actually found a shell that we can angle against so that's destroyer guns I don't think I've ever bounced into any shells in the ship besides that salvo there and it was pretty glorious to see Mahan we finally uh, catch up to him with the sonar and any destroyers when you got a cruiser pushing into you you have to assume no matter what cruiser it is just assume it's got uh sonar on it you know not every single cruiser in game does but i couldn't tell you the ones that don't so if you've got a cruiser moving into you get out of that smoke you're about to die he does get the the far side torp off on us here but once again uh elects to go with the widespreads which makes this very easy i mean he, there's a very high chance that he would have killed us here had he used the correct torpedo spread shoots over us for some reason there and uh we're gonna go ahead and take him down with those salvos so now we're looking at it like okay well we got four kills and we actually got the vaser spotted so we might as well try and go for the crack and our team is on the cap that's about half uh capped never going to criticize the team for capturing the base or winning the game trying to win the game you know don't ever get mad at your team even if you're hunting for a kraken it's not their responsibility to be checking the score to see uh who's got what kills and it's not their responsibility to necessarily support the kraken if they choose to do so then you can you know it's a feather in your cap you can give them a wood up good job or whatever you want to do but we're not ever going to get mad for anyone uh, capturing the base so that's actually what's going to happen here we're going to it's going to come down to the wire, but right when our last salvo that would have sunk him uh, is fired, then the base is captured, basically. So, Gorky, you know, we played it fairly well this game. I Once again, I would just say heavily emphasize protecting yourself. you got to continue to be in good positions, though. you got to be in positions where you can affect the game. Otherwise, there's no. it doesn't matter if you're alive or dead, you know. So don't go hiding uh, just because you think it's going to be a tough ship to play. It's going to be a tough ship to play for sure, but uh, you still want to be doing what you can do while you're alive. Luckily, we're able to dodge one of those torps because I think the second one may have killed us. I don't know. The German torpedoes 
on their carriers are pretty low damage, but there's a decent chance at least that would have sunk us. And here we go. We got the last shot lined up. Looks like a kill to me. Uh, we'll call that a cracking with an asterisk, I guess, if you want to. That's a look for the. That's a look at the Gorky for you guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel? Well, consider subscribing. We've got lots of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys, and we'll see y'all later. Peace.